Hello YouTubers, this is Dee and I'm back with another video. Well today's video is a little bit different, I'm going to be doing a little off cam video and the reason is is because I have NBA 2K17 for the Xbox One S and it is the first game to, to implement HDR for the Xbox One S. Now of course uh, HDR, you need an HDR capable TV to see it and you're not really going to be able to see it coming through the screen at YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to see a little bit more saturated colors but it might look actually darker than it actually is because it's very bright here and um, this this video is just basically to show you that uh, NBA 2K17 does have uh, HDR enabled on it and it's also to help those that have a Samsung TV with the settings because I get a lot of questions people knowing wanting to know how to set up HDR properly on their televisions now I have a Samsung television and I'm very experienced with Samsung television so I know all about their settings so hopefully this video will help those that are having difficulty getting the Xbox one s to display HDR on their Samsung capable display now the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the settings and make sure that HDR mode is enabled. Now, if you have a 2016 TV, as soon as it goes into HDR mode, you're going to see at the top there's going to flash, an image is going to flash in the corner saying HDMI 1 or whatever HDMI you have the device on is, is now showing HDR. And that's how you know that it's in HDR mode. Now, for those of us like myself that have a 2015 uh, television that does HDR, we are not so lucky. It doesn't tell us that it's in HDR mode. The, the, the way that we know it's in HDR mode is by going into the menu and going into the mode. Now, first thing I want to say is that for proper HDR, you have to have your TV in movie mode. If it's not in movie mode, you're not going to be getting Rec 2020 colors. You're just going to be getting an expanded Rec 709 color. For proper HDR, it needs to be in movie mode. Now, like I said, how we can tell is once it's in movie mode, uh, once HDR is enabled, backlight will be 20 maxed out and the contrast will be maxed out. Now, this is only for those of us that have a 2015 uh, set and it doesn't have the HDR mode popping up on the top. That's how you know when your TV is in HDR mode. Now, for the settings, you're going to want to leave all those settings pretty much like that. You're going to want to, once again, this is, applies to Samsung television. Go to the advanced settings. Now, dynamic contrast. Uh, because we don't have dynamic metadata, some scenes can be a little bit darker in HDR10. To improve that, you can put the uh, dynamic contrast to medium or to high. Now, for this game, high is fine, but for most movies, you wouldn't want it past medium because once you get to high, it starts to clip. The, the the whites a little bit and you might get some blowout so you know watch how you adjust the high there now the color space you're going to want to leave the color space on auto because the metadata is going to talk to the television and the television is going to know what color space to put it in so just leave it at auto now this applies to samsung televisions 2015 and 2016 models now you're going to want to put gamma up two points okay this is going to increase the brightness and increase the contrast. And this is actually recommended by Spect Spectacal, uh, Spectracal, sorry. Uh, I have a cold, guys. I'm really stuffed up, so it's very hard for me to talk. So I'm sorry if some of my words are coming out mumbled. Uh, Spectracal, they are the top uh, engineers for calibration tools and software for uh, the television market. And they have recommended that on Samsung televisions, when HDR is engaged, to put the gamma to plus two. Now, once you have all of these set up, you should be fine. Oh, and there's one more step here I forgot to say. In picture options, um, you wanna go down to, once again, this applies to a Samsung television. You wanna go down to a UHD color, and whatever HDMI port you have your Xbox One or your HDR device on, you're going to want to make sure that the UHD color is on. Now, once all of these are uh, are done, you should be getting proper HDR, how the developer intended you to see it. Now, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the video play here, and I'm going to play a, a little match here. I'm probably going to play maybe like five minutes into it so you guys can see how the game plays this year and how the announcers are 
and how the graphics look and then I'm gonna cut the video off okay so um, it's gonna be an abrupt end to the video so uh, when the video is done I ask you guys to like share and comment on it and if you have any questions on how to set up your HDR TV or if you have uh, any questions about the settings for your television uh, leave a question in the comments section and I will do my best to answer it now uh, once again I'm sorry for the mumble talk I'm a little bit stuffed up anyways I'll see you guys on the next one It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, brought to you by Kia. Hey everybody, Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm joined by Shaq and the Jet. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, both these teams excited about the matchup, feeling confident that they can prevail. We will see shortly how those aspirations pan out. And guys, LeBron James, arguably still the most dominant player in the game. But I ask you, Shaq, how long will it continue that he is the face of the league? Well, you know, he's still the biggest name as far as endorsements go, and he does the most PR and is well known overseas, and he's, he is the second most dominant to ever play the game. Who would be the first? I, I don't want to say the name. You Why? can say it. Well, the most dominant player, without question, that I've ever seen has got to be Will Chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's got to be. Now that you, now that you, <laughs> right. I'm going to see you, I'm going to see you in the locker room. All right, it's all right. Uh, yeah. all right. But LeBron James is up there. He's not maybe the most dominant that we've seen, but we've got, we have guys that obviously have been, but he will remain the face of this league. He is an exemplary person to run and have the face of the league. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, actually, I could have. Here's Kevin Harlan. I'm just going to say Sean Bradley. <laughs> Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. You can feel the energy here at Air Canada Center. The Raptors looking to please their fans in this Eastern Conference matchup. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, Cavs head coach Deron Liu hired midway through last season. First time head coach, he played 11 seasons in the NBA. And won Thanks, DA. Certainly a lot expected of everybody in Cleveland. And tonight, Steve, two top tier teams going head to head. A lot of excitement around this one. If you want to see the best in the business go at it. Then you get a chance to measure yourself if you're one of those teams. And I think other guys watching it on other teams, you get a chance to see great basketball. And think of the viewership for this game, too, on 2K. They're going to love watching this one. Huge! What was that again? Huge! <laughs> Fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So on the floor for Cleveland, Smith and LeBron filling out the wings. Love and Thompson, the hard rebounding post pair, and it's Irving at the point guard. He was all alone on that one. Rosen's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the rep to the inside. Deflects the pass, and it's James missing. Okay, that lay-in, he's tricky, but the defense was just too tight on him. Here's Carroll, and James pulls it down. Toronto on defense. It's a three-point game. We're about one minute into the first. Irving for three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Picks one up there. And Kyrie Irving, one of the most talented scorers, certainly, Smitty, in the NBA, but he feels the pressure, I think, to try to tighten the screws in his game defensively. You don't get many nights off defensively at the point guard position in today's NBA. That position is very deep. No excuses, though. To be great, you've got to get it done at both ends. Good on the second free throw. 
and the Raptors with a die-hard fan base. The fan support only getting stronger as they become a consistent factor in the Eastern Conference. This team is unique in the NBA. They represent the entire nation of Canada. Toronto is the league's fifth largest market. A lot of fans from far and wide tuning in and rooting them on. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you props. He's already given them all sorts of problems. He hasn't needed any time to settle into this one. And the shot goes down. Look at the big man, Valentino, showing off the playmaking skills. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now here's James. He dishes it to Thompson. Cash for LeBron. Wow. Let's it go with a three. Buries the long-range jumper. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? Raptors are gone. Three of five shooting the ball so far. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. And it's Lowry penetrating. Unable to get that one. Good D by Johnson. The Cavaliers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. On its way from Irving for two. And the go-ahead bucket. No good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Lowry kicks to Carroll. Tries again. And again it's Jared Selinger. Selinger's got his second bucket of the game to go. I just love the determination on that backboard. Coming out of the gates really, really strong. He's playing with that one extra gear so far that none of the other guys have found yet. Ouch, that's his second foul this quarter. Could buy him some time on the pine. Corey Joseph's checked in for the Raptors. 